Hi, YouTube viewer Jack Odd asked me today about the lens caps in yesterday's video that I had on the 18 to 70 and on the 18 to 200. And that's a good question, but the answer is more than just about lens caps. Here is one of the lenses that I had. This is the 18 to 200, and it's just a cheap lens cap that I have on it, but there is one important difference between this lens cap and the pinch type cap that came with the lens. The difference is size. Let's take a look at what I have behind the lens cap. So there's the lens cap. And then I have a filter, which I've already unscrewed. <laughs> and then I have this step up ring. This takes the uh, lens from 72 millimeters to 77 millimeters. You're probably asking why in the world that I would bother to do that. <laughs> well, to answer that question, I have to start with a couple of my other lenses. Let me show you my 17 to 55 and my 70 to 200. Both of these lenses have 77 millimeter size filter rings already, which means that any filter that I screw onto the lens or cap that I put on the lens must be 77 millimeters to fit. Now these don't have step up rings on them. They're already 77 millimeters. What happens if I don't want to carry around different size filters and lens caps when I carry my equipment around? Um, or what if I don't want to have to buy uh, a whole bunch of the more expensive items like the polarizers. I have one polarizer and it is 77 millimeters. So what do I do? Well, the inexpensive, uh, the inexpensive answer is to get the step up rings. So I can use the same lens caps on my um, 18 to 200, my, um, 18 to 55 or 18 to 70, my 17 to 55, my 70 to 200. And you know, I can use all the same lens caps. I can use the polarizer. I can use the filters all together. That way you can use, you know, all of your things all together. And you know, that may not, not might not sound like a huge big deal, but especially when you're out in the field, it's nice to be able to use the same lens cap, especially, or the same polarizer on the same, or, or on all of your different lenses, because it just, you know, it just makes it easier. You only have to carry around a certain number of things without, you know, having to have a whole mess of things and you're juggling around all your different lens cap sizes and which one fits on this lens. You don't have to worry about it. They're all the same. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Oh, the one kind of mm, drawback is that if you are using a step up ring, it is unlikely that the hood that came with your lens will still lock into place. Um, if that is the case, you do have two options. You can either do what I do and really just go without a hood <laughs> and just like shield the sun with my hand. <laughs> or the other option is to shop for a hood that will screw onto the threads on the step up ring. Generally speaking, this has been a good, easy, and inexpensive way to prevent me from having to think too much when I want to grab my gear and go. And it's kept me from having to buy a bunch of different sizes of filters and caps. So that answers that question and then some. <laughs> Let me know if you have any other questions.